Hi friends, uh, my name is Ratan. So now we are discussing Python tutorial, right? Good. In this video, we will discuss about the variables, Python variables. See, in C language, C, P, Java, we have the variables concept. Python also, to store the data, so we have to focus on first of all variables. So in Python, how many types variables in Python? I hope you know general basic variables, right? In Python, how many types variables here? In Python, we have the two types of variables. One is the local variables, the second one is what? Uh, second one is what? Global variables, right? That's it. In Python, we have the two types of variables. What are the two types? Uh? Local and uh, global variables, right? Good. See, uh, you will discuss all the points regarding variables. Coming to the theoreticals, I will mainly focus on practicals. I hope some, some guys, uh, they are checking only theoretical video. Do not check in practical video. So the main important is one is what? Theoretical or practical? Uh? Practical, right? First, think about the practical video, right? That's it. How many types of variables we have? Local and global variable, right? Just like C language. Local and global variables. See, the variables which are declared inside the function is called local variable. I said Python is a dynamically typed language, right? What do you mean by dynamically typed language? No need to specify the type. EID equal triple one. Then EID is which type? Integer type. E name equal to, hmm, E name equal to what? With the double quotes written. Then E name is which type here? String type, right? That's it. See, I said string we can declare within the single quotes or within the double quotes also, no problem. So we can declare the single quotes or double quotes. So EID, E name, E sal. So E sal is what? So some 10,000 point I sign 4 y. This is called what? Float value, right? That's it. So this is EID, E name, E sal. These are called variables. Variables are reserved memory location to store the data simply. Variables are what? Reserved memory locations to store the data. So by using these variables only, we are achieving the project requirement. So finally, variables are used to store the data. By using that variables, we are achieving the project requirements. Yes or no, yeah? That's it. See, how many types of variables I said? Two types, right? What are two types? Local and global variables, right? That's it. So to understand the local variables, uh, first of all, we have to think about the functions. In C, in, J in Python, we have the functions. Clear? So the variables which are declared inside the function, these are called which variables here? Local variables. What do you mean global here? The variables which are declared outside of the functions, those are called what? Global variables. What is the scope of the local variable? We can access the local variables only within the function, right? What about global variables? We can access the global variables throughout the all functions you can access, right? That's it. Clear? So let me declare the local variables. The, how to declare the function? Tell me by using def keyword. So def, uh, the function name I declared m1. So colon here. Def for the function name here, m1. Here I am declaring name. Name equal to, within the double quotes I declared what? Ratan, right? Good. See, name variable I declared inside the function. This is called which variable here? Local variable. So outside of the function, I'm de I want to declare the variable. Outside the function means I declared here a comma b equal to 10 comma 20. Now what is the a value here? 10. B value is how much? 20, right? This is. These variables are called which variables? Uh, global variables. These variables are, this variable is called what? Uh, local variable, right? That's it. See, in, inside the function, I want print the local variable. To print the local variable, simply can go for the print name. I will do this one is everything is a practical. So check the practical video. Hmm? That's it. Print to name means what happened here? Local variable will be printed, right? Good. What the next one here? I would like to print a plus b. A plus b means which variable is added here? Global variable is added, right? That's it. So this a is called local variable. This a and uh, sorry, this name is called a local variable. This a comma b is called which variable here? Global variables, right? Good. Here simply I would like to call m1 function. To call the m1 function, simply m1 off. Then what happened here? M1 will be executed. Print in name. Rathan will be printed. A plus B is what? 10 plus 20, 30 will be printed, right? That is called what? Local variable versus uh, local versus what? Global variables, right? That's it. Clear? That is a local and a global variables. Next one here. Uh, the next one here. See how declare the function? Tell me. Declare the function by using which keyword? Def keyword. Def M1 function. So in M1 function, colon here, here I have to declare the variable. What the variable I am declaring here? So I am declaring some n equal to 10 value. Plus uh, print, uh, how to print the data here? By using print function, print of n, right? 
Then what is the output here? Just I would like to call m1 function. m1 is called. Then what is the output here? 10 will be printed, right? That's it. But outside of the function, here I am trying to print the a, n value. Now print of n. Possible or not possible here? Not possible. What is the reason here? n is a local variable that local variable scope is what within the function outside of the function is allowed or not allowed not allowed in that case to access these variables outside of the function we have to declare the n here itself n equal to 100 n equal to what 100 now tell me print n means here what is the data will be printed here 10 will be printed print n means this is called what global variable right global variable switch value is printed here 100 will be printed right that's it. Okay, clear. So here 1020 is a global variable. Name is the local variable. Here n equal to hmm, 10 print n means n is printed. If there is no variable here in uh, global variable, if I try to print the value, it's saying error message. Okay. To print the data here, can please declare the global variable. Yes, no, yeah. So do one thing, remove this variable here. Here we are trying to print the value. If I are trying to print the value, obviously here you will get the error message, right? because the local variable scope is what within the hmm, within the function right that's it we clear huh? good the next step, next point you can check it i want to declare the def am1 function okay so am1 function colon so i declare the global variable is a 100 global is what 100 right good so assume global variable is 100 here i declared n equal to 1000 okay now this n will become which variable here local variable right good here i want to print the data to print the n value then what is the output will be printed here obviously thousand will be printed right here can please call m1 method okay so after printing calling m1 method simply can go for the print which variable here n variable then tell me in this case what is the output okay while checking the video don't sit idea can please take the pen and paper can please note on every point okay so try to get the clarity on the subject here I am printing n equal 1000. Now printing n value. What is the output here? 1000 will be printed. Here this is the global variable. Here print n means what happened here? Global variable is printed, right? In this case, what is the output here? Sir, no. Good. In this case, I want to print global variable inside the function. So inside the function, if I want to print the global variable, then what you have to do? Here you have to go for one keyword. The keyword name is called global keyword global global n global n means what happened here this is a global variable inside the function we are representing the global variable by using which keyword here global keyword global n here n equal to what i'm assigning 10 n equal to what 10 right now what happened this is a local variable or global variable so inside the function uh, inside the function to represent the global variable simply can go for what a global n n equal to 10 so tell me now print n means n value is 100 or 10 obviously 100 which one which value here obviously the value will be 10 right that's it so what is the conclusion here inside the function to represent the global variable simply can go for which keyword here global keyword in the global keyword global n n equal 10 then what happened here global keyword will be assigned right that's it see for some cases here some cases here no need to declare global variable no need to declare what global variable also simply def m1 function okay so here simply can write a global a global a a equal to what 100 then simply here you can call m1 method simply can print what print hmm, print what a print which value here a value right now here i can check it so check these two examples clearly here i have global variable to represent the global variable global n n equal 10 100 will become 10 what about in this case here any global variable is there here no inside the function to declare the global variable simply can go for the global a now this variable a variable is a local variable or global variable obviously global variable right now here print a means obviously 100 will be printed here so here the point is simple point how to observe here we have the global variable we represent the global variable n by using global keyword but in this case without global variable also directly here you can declare the global variable here itself come on here the be simple points huh? don't confuse you i hope the points are clear right good feeling important 
clear huh? so that is called whatever local versus uh, global variables okay inside the function declare uh, represent the global variable by using which keyword uh, global keyword right that's it clear huh? local versus global good and one more small point here one more small point i remove this one here good a small observation you can check it small conclusion uh, here i declared def function def m1 def m1 colon here directly i want to print the global variable i want to global global e right that's it i'm declaring one more function def m2 of def m2 of after function you have to write the colon right check the practicals ones here also i have the global variable global a only a equal to 200 now i would like to call m1 function i would like to call m2 function after calling m1 m2 just i want print what a variable now what is the value here tell me it is also having the global a value it is also having the global a value now i am printing the a value then which a value will be printed which a value will be printed tell me hey, come on here in classroom there is no students in the classroom only Ratan sir uh, in front of the camera I am saying examples uh, just feeling important the reason I am saying always what tell me the answer try to analyze your thing try to analyze okay that's it here print a means what the last which value will be assigned here here globally a equal to 100 uh, m1 is called first uh, then I called m2 which one is executed last uh, a equal a equal to 200 right now what is the value here 200 will be printed for example here you can do one thing first i called m2 method then i called m1 method then what is the output first m2 method means first 200 is assigned next m1 method means 100 will be assigned then what is the final value 100 right then 100 will be printed see which order we are calling the same order value will be replaced right value will be overriding okay that's it clear good that is called what your global variables right okay the next one here uh, so inner functions declaring the function inside another function is called what inner functions right here the point here declaring the function inside another function is called inner functions right good coming to the inner functions inner function how to represent the variables now we'll discuss you can check it so here declare the function how to declare the function declare the function by using which keyword def keyword right good def of here simply can write this is my outer function outer of colon outer of colon see in the outer function here i have the name name equal to assume name one name one equal to it in the double quotes i will write rather than right that's it so inside this function i will write the one more function inner function def this is called inner function inner of colon inner of colon right that's it so inside the inner function here i'm, I'm trying to declare variable here name to name to equal to double quotes is what is our data here anu right that's it so outer function contains name rather inner function contains name is what anu right good the inner function is able to access outer class uh, members also then what is the data i'm printing here simply you can go for the printer tell me here printer name one here next one is what printer simply you can write name two right that's it name one and name two here i would like to call the inner function to call it calling of inner function how to call inner function inner of so this is called what see hash means what in python hash is nothing but comments right so inner of here simply can this this is calling okay good here inner function will be called this value will be written how to call the outer class function here this is called outer of this is called what calling of outer this is calling outer this is calling what inner right that's it see what is the point here here name equal rather okay this is a outer outer class variable this is called inner class variable here we are trying to print the data name one and name two call the inner class function calling inner here call the outer class function calling outer okay that's it i hope this one is clear right hmm? that's it